Welcome to a world where you can learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing just like you are. From everyday people who may never have teaching certificates, but all have something valuable to offer. In a place where everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher. This is the One Room Schoolhouse. I know you're so excited. Let's not put that in your mouth. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, Miss Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. Woo. Good morning. Oh, it almost worked. Let's try that again. Say good morning and then let me cut you off. Say it again. You ready? Oh, so close. Did you lose your voice? I lost my voice. I think you found it because I heard it. I think everyone back there, I think Uncle Keith heard it in his house. You think he heard it? Good morning, friends at home. Welcome. It is, I have no idea what today is. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Why are we so excited about, hold on. Yes, you can, but hold on. We're so excited. Shh. My friends at home can't hear us. Why are we excited? Go to the bathroom, please. I want you to remember your manners. Oh, hocus pocus. Okay, even when we're excited, I need you guys to remember that how many of there are you? How many of there are me? And I can only hear one at a time, okay? I was asking our friend Autumn why she was so excited that in two days is Friday. Because it's our field trip. Because it's yeah. our field trip. We're not gonna say where we're going yet. We're gonna let our friends know at home later on. We're not gonna say where we're going, but we're very excited that we are going on a field trip on Friday. We're not telling our friends at home though yet, okay? It's gonna be a surprise for them, okay? You are gonna go? Okay. Okay. Every, oh yeah, mom and dad know because they had to sign your permission slip to say you could go with us. All righty. Okay. Goodness gracious. Are we sure it's not Friday? I thought you guys would be wore out from your chores. Apparently not, are you? We are not. We got all the chores done this morning. Um, are we ready to get the day started? Yeah. Friends at home, are you guys ready to get the day started? Because we have a guest teacher, and our guest teacher brought another guest teacher. Who I'm, very, who I'm very excited, Josh, about you guys meeting in person and um, all the things that they have to teach us today, okay? Now listen, like I said earlier, even when we're excited, what do we have to remember? No, what do we have to remember? Listen. Our manners, okay? When an adult, when someone's talking up here, we give them our full attention, okay? And if you want to get their attention or ask a question, what do you do? Raise your hand. Thank you, okay? So that they can then call on you if the time is appropriate. But I want us to show our friends at home and our guest teachers our best manners, okay? Are we ready to start the pledge? Did you have a question? Yeah. I'll get you some in just a minute, thank you. Yes, Jalen, did you have a question or you were just stretching? Okay, there you go, all righty. All righty, let's all stand up and face the flag. Let's give our... Now the flag's not back here. Where is the flag? Up there. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. George, well, I've, I had a talk with him. I had a talk with my friends back here this morning. And I said, help me be some eyes. I talk to them every morning. I really just talk to Abraham Lincoln the most. Well, I feel like he's very serious and he's always wanting to know the things that I have to tell him. Just, just between him and I. Okay. Let's see, Louie, would you like to say the prayer this morning? Okay. 
Okay, friends at home, join us, you guys. I want everyone, I want hands in your lap or in front of you. I don't want hands on water bottles. I want bow your heads, everyone on their bottoms. Okay. Dear God, thank you for this day, and thank you for Aiden, Josh, Hazel, Henry, and thank you for everybody in the whole entire universe, and thank you for this day, and thank you for food. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very good. Very good. All righty. Are you guys ready to meet who is here today? Yes. Okay. So before, hold on. I want. I need everyone paying attention. I need everyone paying attention. Okay. So I have this friend who I met actually three three years ago. And this friend runs a school. And I did, I went to some training and I learned how to uh, make really cool um, fairy houses. I also learned how to make a fire without matches. Um, yes. Let's see, I did a bunch, I, I learned how to uh, do a slingshot, which I wasn't very good at. Yes. Um, all the things, okay? And this school that she owns is at her house. I'm feeling like a lot of similarities, right? Who's, whose house, whose, whose property is our school on, Jalen? Papa's. Papa Rory's, yeah. So this friend I've known for, she's been a big help in us getting our school started and helping with a lot of ideas in a lot of ways. She's very knowledgeable in all things nature. She um, has a lot of knowledge in plants and birds and all the things. And one of her favorite things to do, hands down, it's not time for questions yet, hands down. One of her favorite things to do is share with others that knowledge. And so that is what she's gonna do with us today. And not only is she here, but she brought a friend who has learned under her to help teach as well. So, can you guys give the biggest, warmest, happiest welcome to my friend, Miss Claire, and her friend, Hallie? Where, which way are they coming in? We're coming in this way. <laughs> Yay! Hi! Can you guys say welcome? Welcome! Welcome to our school. Thank you. This is Hallie. She's my helper today. And how do you know Hallie? So, Hallie started at my school when she was three years old. And Hallie, how old are you now? I'm 10. 10. So she has been my student for that long, and she knows a lot of things about the outdoors. That is so sweet. Well, but, well before you guys get started, can you guys say hi to our friends at yes. home? Yes. So happy to be here. We have classmates that are at home that are part of our school that can't be here physically. So I will let you take it away. Yes. All right. Good. OK. Before we start our lesson, I want us to imagine a waterfall. Have you ever been to a waterfall? Yeah. Have you ever seen a waterfall? Yeah. What about, have you ever listened to a waterfall? Yeah. Okay, so let's think about the noise that a waterfall makes. And the movement. Can you make a waterfall? Your waterfall can be fast, or it can be trickling. So when I say waterfall, I want you to make the sound, and I want you to make the movement with your hands. Waterfall, that just means it's time for me to talk and it's time for you to listen. So thank you. So I want us to hold up your hands, hold up our hands. And before we start our lesson on plantain, Hallie drew this up here today, we are gonna talk about our hands. Our hands are some of the most useful tools that God has given us. Let's look at our hands. We have many, many bones in our hands. Let's wiggle our fingers. Our fingers do a lot of hard work during the day. Miss Rebecca, your hands are your best tools. Can you talk about some of the things that you use your hands for in teaching? Oh, well, other than holding my coffee? Holding coffee, it's very, a useful tool for holding very coffee. I write with my hands. Yes. I hug with my hands. Yes. What else do I do? I do all my chores with my hands. Teach your hands. That's the same as your hands. 
Okay, let's talk. Hallie, what do you do with your hands at home? How are your hands tools? Well, one thing I do for my chores is unload the dishwasher, so I use my hands to unload the dishwasher. Okay. And you are an artist. Yes, I love to paint, so I use my hands to paint with the paintbrush. That's right. Our hands are God's best tools that he's given us. Do you know what else is a tool? Our mind. Our mind helps us imagine. It helps us to remember things. It helps us to concentrate. Our mind is a tool. And then I'm putting my hand on my heart. Our heart is a tool. Mm -hmm. It feels compassion. It feels kindness. It also feels fear. So how could our heart be a tool when we feel fear? Would anybody have a guess at that? Do you? Yes, our heart, our mind can tell us, our mind can tell our heart what to do if we feel fear. At night, when we're in the dark, we can turn on the light and our heart feels better. We can go run to mom and dad's room and our heart feels better. But today we're talking about our hands, okay? So, our hands are our more, most useful tool. Miss Claire, I have a tool belt that I wear at school. Oops, hold on a sec. I wear this tool belt every day. Now when I talk about tools, what comes to your mind? Indy? Um, the tools like they can cut dirt and they can cut, they can cut dirt and they can Yes. Okay, so Indy is talking about tools that cut. Okay, well I can't get this on, but this is my, this is my tool belt right here. So I'll just, that's right. Hammers, uh, measuring tapes to measure. What about a drill? Yeah. Okay, these are tools. When somebody says the word tools to me, I think about construction tools. But if our hands are tools, is, is our hand a, a piece of construction equipment? No. no, but it's just as useful. So this is my teacher tool belt. Uh, Rebecca, you'll have to get one of these because the pouches slide. Yeah. Really? And yeah. that fits more than my fanny pack. My fanny pack is <laughs> right. very small. Okay, so in my teacher tool belt, I have a pen because a pen is a tool. Sometimes I don't have paper, so I write on my hand. See? Hands are great tools. I have Kleenex because I wipe a lot of runny noses at Fern Top. I have my magic spray. Magic spray, magic spray, make all the germs go away. And then, something that I'm very proud of is I have someone named Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy is in my tool belt. Mr. Grumpy, if someone is feeling angry, if someone is feeling frustrated, if someone is feeling grumpy, sometimes I let them hold Mr. Grumpy and it just makes them feel a little better. Here's Mr. Grumpy. Doesn't he make you smile? I know Mr. Grumpy. I, I know. Henry, you've held Mr. Grumpy a few times. Yes, I know Mr. Grumpy. Well, right now I'm holding him, but you can look at him with your owl eyes. Say hi to Mr. Oh, look at that big smile on your face. Ah, I know Mr. Grumpy. He's grumpy, but he brings lots of smiles. <laughs> Okay, this is Mr. Grumpy, and boy, Mr. Grumpy, you sure do a good job cheering our hearts up. So Mr. Grumpy is in my tool belt. I also have sunscreen because Miss Claire does not want fine lines and wrinkles at age 60, so I have to put sunscreen on all the time because Fern Top, we are outside all day long. We, are out. we never come inside except to go to the bathroom, so I have to have sunscreen on. So this is my tool belt. Just a second, Hazel. And this is full of tools. But the best tools that God gave us are our hands. And so today we're going to have an opportunity to use these powerful tools to heal and to collect. And we're going to find out that in, in just a minute. So, Hallie, Hallie has my notes because Miss Claire sometimes forgets what's to say, so. See, I'm not the only one who forgets now. 
All right. Okay, do you know what this is? A first aid kit. Do you have one of these at your school? Yeah, yeah it may not look like this. I bought this and it, it's red, which red usually means danger or emergency or pay attention. So turn around and look at your exit sign. That's red for a reason. It's important. So our first aid kit is red because it's an important part of our school. What kind of things do you think are inside of this first aid kit? Let me see hands. Hazel. Band-Aids. Yes. Mackenzie, do you have an idea about what else might be in there? Healing cream. Healing cream? Let's find out. I'm not sure if I have any in here. Yes. This is actually called salve, and it's made from the plant we're going to talk about today. So we, we call this boo-boo cream or healing cream, and Mackenzie knows all about it because when she was in preschool, she came to Fern Top. Yes. What? Red. red. Yes. Do you have a guess about what might be in here? Well, I do know that I have, um, I do have seizures and I do have one of those for me whenever I do have seizures. Mm -hmm. It's the, and different stuff has needles inside to like, so if I do have seizures and yes. like stuff for me, for me to like, that's right. So your first aid kit might look different than our first aid kit. It's in my home on the wall and it's a, in a bag and it has like a little thing that told me to. Yes. I'm glad you shared that about needles. Some of us need needles because our bodies need the medicine inside of the needle to help work properly. I don't have any needles in here, but if you were at my school, I might have your medicine in here. But today, we're going to talk about a plant that God gave us that is like a Band-Aid. I call it nature's Band-Aid. And, and it's, it's called plantain. And there's two different types of plantain. There's narrow leaf plantain, and there's broad leaf. So Hallie and I were talking about what the difference between broad and narrow is. Do you know, Hallie? Well, broad is the one over here. It's more of a circle than a straight, a straight point. And then narrow leaf, it's very narrow, and it's narrow leaf plantain. Okay, so I'm gonna have Hallie pass out some plantain leaves to you. And we've got, we collected these last night. She's got broad leaf and narrow leaf, and she's gonna give, Hallie, how many do we give each child? Do, we, do we have enough for three? Okay, you're gonna get three narrow leaf plantains and three broad leaf plantains, and you're going to look at them, you can feel them, um, you can sniff them. Um, you know, we will talk about that. If, I guess if you're hungry, you could, you could take a little nibble, but if you don't feel like eating it, you don't have to. We'll talk about that later. What does it smell like? This is, so this is narrow leaf. See how skinny they are? And this is broad leaf. Yeah. Miss Claire, did you get these from our farm? No. Did you bring them from your school? We collected these from Fern Top, but Hallie and I have gone on a walk and we have found a big patch of plantain on the farm. This is broad leaf. And this is narrow leaf. See the difference? See how skinny these are? No. This is broad leaf. See how fat they are, Wendy? And this is narrow leaf. This is narrow leaf. Let's wait for our plantain, okay? And this is broad leaf. See the difference? This is skinny and this is fat. Are you taking a nibble? What do you think it tastes like? Yeah. Do you remember me? Of oh. course she does. Can I put this in your puppy? Do you think it tastes no. like? Do you eat lettuce? Yep. No. Do you eat spinach? 
Okay, we have somebody who thinks plantain tastes good over oh, here. I'm impressed, Jalen. Just, yeah. You may take this home. Little yes, one? you may. This so, is the big one, the little one's in there. Leaf, and this is broadleaf. Mackenzie, you know about plantain, right? Yeah. Do you have this in your yard? Uh, yes. Oh, she's bought some? Yeah. Henry, you know about plantain, right? Mm -hmm. If you love it yeah. on your skin, you do. Does gel on it. It does it taste good? Yeah, so you put gel on it that yeah, helps it your skin. Yeah. Claire, you might be planning on talking Ms. about this, Miss Claire, but yeah. our friends at home, if they're wanting to quickly go out, it, is plantain um, easily really found? Good. Yes, it, we are going to talk about that. So okay. I can talk, talk, start talking about that Your right now. Your might want to go get yes. some for the lesson. So the exciting thing about plantain is it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It is in library yards. It's in your backyard. It's in your school parking lot in little patches of dirt. Sometimes if you go to church, if you look by the um, pathways that lead into the church, you'll find it on the sidewalks. It grows in between cracks if the road is breaking up. It grows where construction is happening. It's everywhere. And that's the marvelous thing about plantain is because God knew that we needed things to help, mm -hmm. help us. And so he has it everywhere for us. I call it God's great green blessing. Your hand is up. Do you want to talk about plantain? Oh, it's good. I think it tastes kind of like spinach. In fact, you can put it in smoothies. You can put it in salads. It tastes like lettuce. It does kind of taste like lettuce. Okay, I see hands, Hazel and then Indy. Yes, Hazel. Nature rags. Okay, we're talking about nature's band-aids, but yes, nature rags. That's a great idea. Indy, did you want to say something? Yes. At your house. Yes. 100%. So, okay, I will say before I answer your question, anytime you want to put something in your mouth, you need to ask an adult. Yes. It's very important. So the children at Fern Top, they have learned what plantain is. So I now trust them that they know how to find it and they know what to do with it. But anything outside, even if you think it might be plantain, before you reach down and grab it and do something with it, you need to ask an adult, is this okay for me to put on my skin or eat? So plantain, we're going to work really hard to identify what it is so that we'll know how to keep ourselves safe. Can everybody give me a thumbs up about that? That's an important rule. Okay. That's right. That's important. Okay. So plantain grows everywhere. Plantain grows everywhere. And another reason that we want to rejoice and celebrate this green blessing is because it's also a dirt doctor. What do you think I mean by that? It doctors the dirt. Anybody have an idea how? Yes. It's good for the soil. Miss Rebecca, have you guys been talking about trees and roots? Yes. Okay, so what do awesome. roots do to the soil? Mm -hmm. Yes. They help it um, stay up. They, they help, help it, their anchors to the tree. Yeah, that's one of their the things. Their anchors? Roots. What yep. else does the dirt do to the soil? What about the nutrients? He's thinking. Mm -hmm. Nutrients. Nutrients, mm -hmm. yes. So. What plantain does is it has a huge root. We call it a tap root. It grows deep into the ground and it wiggles the dirt. Can you guys wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle. your plantain and you're wiggling down into the dirt 
And what your root is doing is it's loosening the soil and it's making overused soil good again. So it's wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. So that's another reason why we want to celebrate plantain is because it's not only nature's band-aid, but it's also a dirt doctor. Dirt doctor. And also that. Um, yeah. So let's see, Hallie, what else were we going to talk about? The ribs. Huh? The ribs. The ribs. OK. So let's look at the ribs. Hallie's going to come around and show you. Do you guys, can you feel yes. underneath your, right under, uh, on, just right on top of your um, belly, you have ribs? And these can you ribs. feel your ribs in your body? Yes. These, these are the That's ribs. right. Right there. Right. Plantain these has ribs. They're these, these things. And if you separate them, you can see the ribs. These are the ribs. See them? There they are. Hallie's going to come around and show you how to separate your plantain and find the ribs in the plantain. Indiana, can I show you? What you can do is you can separate it and see those ribs right there. Here, let's try to find another. Yeah, you can pull them apart and you can touch the ribs. See, and feel the there's ribs. the ribs right here. See the ribs? Good. Anyway, those you can are touch the ribs. Ribs. The ribs. This plant is also called ribwort. It's also called ribwort. Rib I don't know what wart so means, but I do understand where they got rib from because of the ribs on the plant. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. You dropped it. You may get out of your seat and get it. Yeah. If you, you have a little rib or a little plant, you can pull the part and see the A little rib. Okay, we have a question. Do you know that the leaves give oxygen in the in the um um leaf in the um roots are um those are the two um good things. Those are the two good things of a tree. You're right. Those are two great things. Good memory. Yeah. Good memory. If you pull them apart like this. Yes. You can actually see the ribs inside. See those? Yes. So you mean narrow leaf? Yeah, That's narrow leaf also has ribs. Turn it over. Where's the see? Ribs. Huh. Yeah. The narrow leaf ribs. Okay. The ribs. So, right so other than the, the shape of the plantain, narrow and broad are the same. The it's same. just the shape. They have the same inside, the same juice. The, the, I call it plant juice. That's not a technical <laughs> word for it. That's a preschool nature word. It's perfect word. Um, their plant juice is full of healing properties for our body, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Now, before waterfall, before we use our hands to gather the plantain from outside, because that's what we're going to do, we're going to go on a plantain hunt. Hallie and I are going to teach you, you can keep the plantain, we're going to teach you a song that we wrote about plantain. Ooh. Yeah, we've been practicing. Mm -hmm. And it's called a plantain lullaby. Can anybody tell me when do you sing lullabies? Devil. At night. At night? Devil. When else would you sing a lullaby? When, when babies are sleeping. When babies are sleeping. When you're in bed. When you're in bed. What about when you want to calm down? Mm -hmm. What about if you're really upset? Does your mom or dad or grandparents sing you a soft, slow song when you're upset? A lullaby? That's right. Indiana, does Papa sing you lullabies? Uh, slow songs? <laughs> Sometimes? Okay. Well, waterfall. Shh. We're going to sing you plantain lullaby. And it's so easy and so quick that I think you can memorize it. We're going to sing it twice, and then you're going to take your plantain, and we're going to line up at the door and go on a plantain hunt. Okay, you ready, Hallie? All right. Plantain, not plain at all. It soothes our stings and falls. Nature's band-aid, nature's way. Plantain, not plain at all. Plantain, not plain at all. It soothes our stings and falls. Nature's band-aid, nature's way. 
plantain, not plain at all. Look at this green plant. It is not plain. It's marvelous. Sometimes the most plain things in nature are the most useful. All right, so Miss Rebecca, we would like to go on a plantain hunt. Do it. I'm going to empty my basket, and Hallie is going to hold the basket. Mm -hmm. And she, you can put plantain in the basket when you find it. We're going to bring those. Yeah. So bring a plantain leaf with you, a broad leaf and a narrow leaf plantain, so you can match it to the one outside. And if you need any help, I'll always be there to show you where the plantain is. Yes, Callie is my help first. Hey, Callie, can I what? stay with you? So we'll sure. Go out, we'll go out that way. Okay. Yeah. Indiana. You keep this so you know what the plantain looks like. Yes, kind of like the small ones. Everybody, everybody come with me. Everybody, everybody come with me. Okay, Hallie, why don't you lead the group to the plantain patch we found this morning? You want to go okay. first? Ready? All right. Okay, the plantain patch is over here. You guys follow Hallie. See where those trees are? That's where a bunch sure. of plantain is. You can be a leader, okay? And I'll show you guys a couple of the patches, and then you can start picking. This is my last one. Well, hey, you know what? You can have some more because there's plenty outside. Right over here. And there's plenty in my hand. Yes. You don't like. You have one in your. Well, I would like to. What? Okay, so I'm gonna. Here, let's find the big spot. See all these right here? This is, remember that little thin leaf you had? Like these? Yes, that is what this is. Look, yes. Here's broadleaf plantain. Let's pick some and put it in Hallie's basket right here. Yeah, did you bring your broadleaf? Yes. Yeah, I told you it was everywhere. Wait, let me look. Rib. Yes. Henry found plantain. Yes. So yes. Here, this is the plantain Ooh, yeah. right okay. here. This is the plantain. Very good. This okay. is the narrow leaf. Rebecca, here's oh. some more. Oh, this yeah. is what it looks like. like. This is um. This? This is a yes, that's plantain. Leaf. This is a, a narrow leaf narrow. plantain. Do you see how thin it is? And this is plantain. Yes. yes. This is plantain. Oh, wow. I ate it again. <laughs> yep, plantain. This is um. This is a large narrow leaf plantain. Yes, you found it. And there's I lots of plantains, again. so let's collect. Okay. Let's use our hands. Broadleaf. We need to find some okay, broadleaf. Okay, so collect it and then put it in the basket. Oh, here's narrow leaf. So let's find a broadleaf. Hmm. Yep, that's plantain. You have more narrow leaf plantain here. Yeah. Yeah, that's plantain. Skinny ones I found. That's it. Narrow leaf. Yes. But we're on the broadleaf plantain. Here. That's the fat one. Oh, that's just a cord. Okay. Now let's look at this. Um, do you think this looks like your example? Can you hold it up? A uh, kind of, but it's fuzzy on the end. Okay, it's fuzzy, and this is this fuzzy? No. Yeah, no, we're not looking at the broadleaf plantain. We need to keep searching. Oh, I found some more over here. A lot over here. We we only have like. Let's take a look at this. Those, ready? Those? Is this? So set the basket. First of all, let's set the basket down so everybody can pick. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And do you remember what? Look, see all these? Stuff. There's a bunch over here. Yes. Is it narrow? See all these? All these? Yes. yes. Narrow. Yeah. yeah. These are all. Brought, Whoa, these are the ones over here. Those? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I Even think. Even these? No, that's okay, grass. Okay, let's look at this. These kind. These what, kind. Look at the like back this? of it. Does yes, it look, that's narrow leaf plantain. Does it have one rib or does it have yeah, lots of ribs? It's plantain. not plantain. Yes, there is. Nope. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I know it. Let me see. We have all this beautiful you found a lot of plantain leaf. everywhere. Uh, We're on the hunt for broad. Now, but I've seen a lot of narrow. Do you see any broad? Oh, these are really good. Let me see. What, do you think you found it? 
Yes, it's plantain. I'm excited it's to plantain. find out how yes. the, the juice that has. Like, see all these that look like this? See all the plantain. Hey, that's the one for the ribs. Yeah. You may hold it in. See those ribs? I call this fairy well the plantain. I like it to call this fairy well the plantain. So yeah, next time you guys get a spray. Well, you know what we're looking we can't for? Find we can't find any. We're looking. Has somebody plantain? Yeah. So plant, plantain has a bunch of medicinal benefits. I love that. Your stings, bug bites, a bunch of Here's a bunch of it. That's perfect. What about like scratches and stuff? Can we yes, put them on yes. scrapes? Actually, so scrapes. show me how you would do that. So, so like let's say I have a scrape on my on my hand. So what you do is you get a piece uh -huh. and you oh, rub it. Hey, hey Henry, do you okay. want to see? She's showing me something. Okay, right? so it's, if you had a sting, mm -hmm. You'd rub it between your fingers and get the juice out because the juice is the medicinal part. Okay. And then you put it on your bee sting. Okay. So, so, so I'd rub, rub it. it? Yeah, you'd rub it. So so we got and, then, and then you would put it on your bee sting mm -hmm. or your scrape. Mm -hmm. and or, or even a fire ant sting. You'd have to hold it on there though. Another fire ant? What about a yes. wall? Because there's lots of fire ants. Another there. thing you could do is you could also tape it on. Oh, so it stays on there. Or put what? a band-aid over it. To That's, help a, good it stay on. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Put your bee sting. What about a wall? Yeah. That's great. Friends, has anybody found broad leaf yet? I haven't seen a broad one yet. yet. Different plantain like to go in different different places. So like, narrow leaf. What looks you? like the narrow leaf At likes this place more. We don't have. I got gotcha. you. At our, at our house, we don't Here, have you this guys kind of have, plantain. We have the uh, broad. Okay. But so at, different areas. So yeah. you, you more than so likely like may not got, see yeah. narrow and broad together so, all the time. Yeah. So you guys have narrow leaf. I gotcha. There's there's some broad leaf around here that we saw, but not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Only like two so little things of it. So it's so much narrow leaf. But there is it's so okay. much narrow leaf everywhere. It's a leaf. Lot thing you will help so another way is you can yes, make salve. Keep on looking. So what you make salve plantain is you keep the plantain in oil for a, a while. Uh -huh. I don't know how long you have to ask Miss Claire. And then you'd get beeswax and you'd melt them together and let it dry and it would make salve, which you could put on bee stings, scrapes, a bunch of other things. That's what we need to do. Yes. Even with a A bunch of things. Waterfall. Has everyone gathered plenty of plantain? Yes. Okay. We're going to find some broad. I know. I am not finding broad, but we can be. We can, yeah, we can keep on the. Narrow leaf. Let's go over here and have a seat, and we're going to talk about how to use it. Talk about everybody, everybody, come with me. Is that what you think? Did you remember Mackenzie from Bird Talk? I think so. No. Wow, there's a lot in here. Yeah, there is. Let's just I found one. have a seat. You did? Oh, wow. Let's have a seat right here. First, let's make a big circle. Can everybody? Let's make a circle, make a circle around the sun. Let's take some steps Ready? back. Take we want our back. circle to include everybody. Okay. Good. On, make a circle. All right. Okay. So, Hallie, um, can you explain to all of our friends here and all our friends around the world? Yes. Around the world? Yes. How we use plantain. Um, but first I'll say, the reason why we call it nature's band-aid mm -hmm. is because the green juice inside, it helps with inflammation. That's when our body reacts to something and inflames. Yes. It helps with um, infection. Does anybody know what an infection is? Yes. yes. Mackenzie, what's an infection? That's right. If you have scraped yourself or cut yourself and it gets redder and redder and puffier and puffier, yes? even means that like it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I have this wire thing on my hand that is bumpy. Right. So, yes. I had a fetcher a couple of days ago, but now it's better. I'm so glad. I had a fetcher. I had a fetcher. 
I had a pee infection once when I lived in Florida. Yeah, that's an infection a too. Infection, a pee? Mm. Yes? I had an infection this one time. I can't remember where all that. It kept growing big and big and it, um, I think someone made it pop off. Oh, it was a split, I think, it was oh. a splinter. It was oh, a yeah. Splinter one time. Plantain can uh, heal splinters. It draws the poison out. Yeah, this one time there was a splinter in my hand, so they need, they had a sewing needle, so, and it hurt them so bad. So and let's it, let, let them tell us how to get that out without needles. Right. So Hallie? Mm -hmm. I am playing on a wood structure yes. and I'm sliding down something and I get a splinter in my finger and I'm screaming because it hurts. Now, first you're going to use your mind to remember, then you remember you're going to use your heart because you feel, you feel compassion yeah. for me, don't you? And then what are you going to do if we're outside and we're not next to our first aid kit? Help. We go, I would go look for plantain and I'd grab some, I'd rub it between my fingers and I'd put it on the splinter. Okay, and what is, what happens when you put it on the splinter? It draws the poison out or it draws the splinter out. That's right. It actually does make the splinter come to the surface of your body so that you can get it out better. Yes. Because I don't know about you, I don't like it when my mom or dad got tweezers and tried to dig out my splinter. Yeah, that does I not know. feel good. <laughs> right. If you want to go look for plantain, if you don't want to use tweezers, or if you don't have any first aid kit or tweezers, you can just go find either narrow leaf or broad leaf, and you can rub it between your fingers and put it on the splinter. That's right. Or, now this is something else we can do. We can chew it. Which for you, and All of you that it. said that it tastes good, you might like this. Yeah. So this is what you can do. I, I don't know that you want my spit on your hand, but I don't mind it if it's on my hand. And if it's a friend that, that really doesn't care, I might do that. Now, I yes, like Rebecca? It. Is it better to grab fresh plantain, or can we have some inside the school, like, for occasions when that happens, or is it better to get the fresh off the ground? It is better to get the fresh. Now you can, yes. um, make you can make salve, the boo-boo salve that's in our first aid kit that Mackenzie mentioned, mm -hmm. and maybe that can be a, another time we yeah. can do that. Okay, for example, what if you're playing outside on the playground and you're having lots of fun and a bee starts flying around you and you're irritating the bee, you start screaming and it decides to sting you. Mm -hmm. How can plantain help us, Hallie? Well, you can if there, there's some grass around, you can go look for some plantain, which plantain grows everywhere a lot. So there will most likely be plantain there. So you'll grab plantain. You can either chew it or you can just rub it between your fingers. You can also make a, like if you add water to it and you squish it in the water, it gets the juice out. And but anyways, you put on your bee sting and it will help. It will help make it feel better. And you can either hold it there or you can put some tape over it to help can it you stay show, there. Okay, can you show, show us how that happens? And then if you guys would like a nature's band-aid, Hallie can come around and give you one. Is it pretty um, immediate, the sting relief from yes, it? Yes, it's pretty immediate. Yes. So I have scraped my hand and I am bleeding. Now during the Civil War, um, they didn't have lots of bandages. They ran out of supplies and doctors in the Civil War and the mm -hmm. soldiers would use plantain to stop the bleeding in their wounds. They would also pack their deep wounds if they cu got cut very deeply or shot very, you know, and it was really deep. They would put plantain, they would bite it or they would, you know, um, we call this garble it. Yeah. And they would stuff the wound with the plantain, and not only would it stop the bleeding, but the juices inside would he help heal the infection. So Hallie just made a, a, a Band-Aid for me. Do you see mm -hmm. that? Cool. Would you guys like a Band-Aid? Yeah. Okay, she's okay. gonna come around with the plantain and some tape, and she's okay. gonna give you a Band-Aid. You might not want to put the Band-Aid, just keep in mind, okay. hold on, where Henry. You to, you if you put the Band-Aid on your arm or somewhere where you have hair, when you put, take the tape off, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, Yes. Does plantain grow wild? Okay. Does plantain grow wild? Yes. It grows wild. 
In fact, it's considered a weed, and most people want weeds out of their yards. But I say, oh no, keep the weeds, because it's usually the plainest things that are the most marvelous. Sometimes, well, it, yes. well, we keep talking about plantain and yep. searching. We're going to say goodbye to our classmates at home, our friends at home. Bye. Bye, you guys. Thank you for joining us. If you want more information about Miss Claire and Ferntop, go on to ferntop.com, maybe. You have a uh, website? Ferntop Nature Preschool. There you go. Com. Thank let's, you, guys. Let's sing our song for them while we end. Yes. Okay. Plantain, not plain at all. It soothes our stings and falls. Nature's band-aid, nature's way. Plantain, not play. These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Frist Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.